So in today's video, we are going to explain this trace feature in Fanuc CNC machine. So purpose of this feature is to monitor all the signals, namely X, F, G and Y up to the resolution of 8 milliseconds, which otherwise cannot be seen with a naked eye. So supposingly if we have a fluctuating signal, which is uh, causing trouble and generating some intermediate alarm, which cannot be uh, uh, traced uh, with a naked eye. So uh, that uh, that signal, we, uh, we, uh, the signal can be traced by using this uh, uh, trace feature. So it is basically an oscilloscope, an inbuilt oscilloscope in the machine, uh, with which we can trace all the functions uh, in the uh, machine. So now I will show you how to proceed uh, this uh, with the signal. So uh, in the ladder, just to show you, I have written, I will show you. So this is the signal G19.7. This signal gets on when X26.1 is pressed. So we can see X26.1 is pressed and 19.7 is on. The moment I press it, signal is on. The moment I release it, signal is off. Now we can see the same uh, in the oscilloscope as well. So I'll show you how to do it. EMC maintenance. Trace. So this OPRT. Trace parameter. So over here we have to write the signal. So first we'll write uh, G nineteen point seven. G nineteen point seven input and the other one is X twenty six point one. So these are the two singles and uh, I'll do I'll press it again and we'll see uh, how it uh, is displayed in the trace uh, feature. Trace. Stop. So we'll see. See, the moment I pressed X 26.1, G19.7 also gets high. Look, these are the two signals. So this bar, when it is shaded, it means the signal is on, otherwise it is off. See. So now, what is the use of the trace feature? So supposingly, if we have a fluctuating signal and uh, we want to detect uh, uh, or monitor the signal, so we can do it with the help of uh, uh, trace function is so by using this uh, trace function we will detect the small dip in the signal which cannot be uh, detected otherwise with a naked eye but the same will get the same event will get recorded in the oscilloscope and we can see it so i have traced this signal x6.7 this is a signal x6.7 you can see when the signal is high the bar will get shaded. Look, that means signal is high, high, low, high and low. So I will make the signal low just for a fraction of a second, and uh, that uh, dip in the signal cannot be seen with the uh, with our recorded with our eyes, but it will get recorded in the oscilloscope. So I'll show you. So this, this is the signal, look, x4.6. So when I will 
move this proximity sensor in front of the hole, the signal will dip for a fraction of a second. But it cannot be seen with, a, with our eye. But the oscilloscope or the trace function will detect the same. You can see. So I will slide the uh, sensor quickly in front of the hole. Look. So the, I just slided it. So it didn't dip over here. The signal did not dip. It did not show any dip over here. But it will, now we will see what the oscilloscope will say. Look. Now we will go to the trace function and uh, we will see how uh, did uh, this event was recorded in the oscilloscope. So see, we are looking for the signal. Look, this is the break in the signal. So for this one block which is equivalent to 8 milliseconds, the signal was low. So the oscilloscope has recorded this event. So uh, it is a very useful function because uh, sometimes you know uh, there is a problem coming and uh, the machine is giving alarm and uh, we are not able to diagnose it properly. So with the trace function we can monitor all the signals and all the outputs uh, in this uh, CNC machine. Thank you.